WTFNN. Headline News Update. Good morning, folks. Steve Rhodes coming to you live from the shores of sunny Delray Beach, Florida. This is your 11 a.m. update and a bit of a mixed bag. The mix is really coming from the Dow, which is up about 18 points, so basically flat. Other U.S. indices trading to the downside. S&P's off 12 points. NASDAQ 137. The Russell's down 1% or 22 points. The semi's off 9 points. That's basically a flat move, but it's off a quarter percent. Trannies are down 90 points, a half a percent there. Gold is off 25 bucks, one and a quarter percent. Silver down 2 and 3 tenths, or 57 pennies. Light sweet crude is off 64 cents. Natural gas down 7 pennies. 30 year Treasury printed out at 12307. That's off 1 point and 7 ticks. Let's try to figure out what all that means by looking at that 9 panel market update chart. We begin the upper left hand side. We can see that yesterday, uh, the uh, Rhodesman Dominicator top that was present was negated. But if you get another bearish reversal candle today, it'll be active once more. Spot volatility below its 50 day exponential moving average. That's always a positive for the bulls. The NQ still retains its Rhodesman Dominicator top price consolidated with inside its profile levels between the 15,586 and 15,967 area. US dollar index on a tear, but it will complete a TD nine count top pattern today. That suggests that we should see price pull back further. Goldilocks just consolidated with inside his daily profile, finding support at the bottom of that profile level on the daily base at 1983, as well as the center of its weekly at 1980. Silver has just basically been consolidating sideways. Its key area of support is really the bottom of its weekly profile at 24.15. Lightspeed crude needs a bearish reversal candle to confirm a sell the D point pattern. Price is trading above, just slightly above the top of its weekly profile. Until a bearish reversal candle forms, price should target 84.41. Natural gas finding support at the bottom of its daily profile. That level is down at the 255 area. So just a consolidation going on there. And with regard to the 30-year Treasury, 30-year Treasury right now is trading into, let's just expand this chart out, give me a moment. It is trading into a swing point from all the way back here, March 2nd of 2023. And a close below 123.12, well, that would suggest lower price, but we've got another swing point that formed a few weeks ago on July the 10th. So a lot of you watching here, I would say a close below 122.30 is going to lead to lower price inside that 30-year uh, treasury bond. So folks, stay tuned for the Trader Z Show. But if you're off to start your Tuesday, please have a terrific one. Thanks for joining us. We'll look forward to speaking with you again soon. Take care now.